Hello, my name is Rumiel Del Rosario, he, him, his pronouns. Uh, if you're watching this video, odds are you've already watched my 15-minute craft conscious mini lecture about my store series. If you haven't watched that, it's linked in the description, but no worries if you haven't. You don't need to watch that to follow along with what we're going to do. Uh, in this mini workshop, we're going to try to find ways to rethink objects. And we're going to do it through a fun, engaging way, repackaging. So I've made a lot of work using this method, and so here's an opportunity to walk you through it. Materials you'll need are a resealable plastic baggie, some object you have that'll fit the baggie, paper, writing utensils, or Photoshop and a printer, and a stapler. First step is to find some plastic baggie. This can be any transparent bag, it could be a sandwich bag, a little miscellaneous bag from something you bought before or something similar. Now that you've picked the size of the bag, the next step is to pick something that'll fit in it. I've got a few bags here, so I'm going to package up a few things. Go ahead and put them inside their bags, or if you need to edit them beforehand, go ahead, curate them however you want, but go ahead, just put them in once you're ready. And now you can get to the fun part, recontextualizing them through their labels. First off, understand what the objects you picked are. Think about how they can be transformed just through their labeling. It's good to first think about what it is and then go in either direction of building up what it is or negating that completely and making up your own narrative. So for instance, I picked up this random electronics cable. What does it belong to? I don't know. And I don't think I'll ever know what it belongs to. And I still keep it for whatever reason, I don't know. So for this one, I think I'm going to build up off that idea, affirming that this is in fact a random useless cable. Uh, here's another example. So this is a drawing I picked up off the street one day. I just found it on the street walking to wherever I need to go and I thought it was neat so I picked it up and it's just that. There's no real connection to it. Uh, but I want to make up the narrative that it's a cursed or haunted drawing. So that's what I'm going to do with the packaging. Even though that this drawing itself, while it may look cursed or may look haunted to some, it's, it's just a drawing at the end of the day. Here's another example. So this is a bag of rusted metal that I found in the ground near a rusted metal sculpture, and I want to make it sound like it's a Richard Serra art piece, even though, like, c come on, it's just a bunch of metal that's rusted up that I found in the ground. So that's what I want to enforce. I want to enforce this fake narrative that this is, in fact, a Richard Serra art piece. When making the label physically or digitally, make sure that you make it whatever size you want, but just be sure that it covers the top part of your resealable baggie. And just remember that when you're making the label, that it folds. So text needs to be oriented in different directions on the same sheet. If you plan on punching a hole to hang up the work when you're done, remember to leave space for it on both sides. If you're working physically, you can do this at the beginning to prevent screwing it up later. When working on the label, Think of packaging you've seen and the way that the words, fonts, and phrases can accentuate certain things. Slap on the word new, even though this isn't really necessarily a new thing of anything. Add on the word authentic, inauthentically, who cares? Throw in jargon, fake ratings, and blurbs of the narrative you want to put on the object, realistic or made up, just to sort of push whatever idea you want on it. And if you're working digitally, like I typically do with this kind of work, you can find cheap, ready-to-go images to slap onto the packaging through Google Images. I usually just put .png at the end of it to search for a transparent image. It makes it a lot easier to put onto Photoshop and edit. Once you're done with your label, or you're done printing it from your printer, go ahead and staple it on, folding it, and covering the top part that encloses your object into the plastic baggie. And there you have it. You have an object recontextualized and rethought. Bring this into your artistic and craft practice or use it as a neat way to make gifts. If you're thinking about doing this in a larger quantity, it might help you to purchase a large pack of the same size plastic cellophane bags through a local retailer or eBay if you need to. Thanks for tuning into this demo and I hope for y'all to share your creations with me through Instagram or through email. Uh, show me what you've made. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all have a great day. All the best.